If you're looking for the ultimate citrus fragrance to wake you up in the morning with a slap in the face, then today's video might be right up your street. This is Lemon Line from the House of Mancera. And to find out what I think of this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 59 of my Fragrance 365 project where I talk about a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is Lemon Line from Mansera. This is a citrus aromatic fragrance for men and women and it was launched in 2014 and the perfumer behind this one was Pierre Montal. The top notes in this one are lemon, lavender and orange. In the mid there's geranium, white flowers and amber. And in the base there's oak moss and white musk. Yeah, so you won't be surprised to hear that this one opens up with a prominent note of lemon. Well, I say prominent, what I meant to say was a complete, total and utter lemon bomb is what you're going to get in the opening of this one. It's like a, a really fizzy and sour lemon uh, that's like those sherbet lemon sweets rather than the lemon in uh, Chanel Allure Edition Blanche, which is more of a, a creamier take on the note. You could be forgiven uh, for thinking that there's only one note in this one for the first hour or so because the lemon is just so dominant. This is for anyone that loves the citrus openings of fresh fragrances but wish they lasted a bit longer into the dry down. This one retains that zesty freshness for a couple of hours before transitioning into a, a more floral aroma with the lavender becoming more pronounced and that's supported also by the oak moss. It's very sharp in the beginning and it could turn a few people off uh, but give this a chance to settle down because the dry down on this is magical. What can I say about the presentation on this? I mean, take a look for yourself. It's such a super cool looking fragrance with this striped transparent bottle that allows you to see inside and, and take a look at the yellow juice. It's a weighty bottle with chunky glass and it feels really premium in the hand. Um, on the front, we've got the Mansera branding with the fragrance name, the size and the concentration. Uh, the cap is metal and like all Mansera scents, it has this uh, screw on feature. This is in a very stylish metallic pewter colour uh, and it contains the Mansera logo on the top which is stamped into it. Underneath we've got the batch code and all the other relevant information uh, but when it comes to presentation I don't think you can do much better than a Mansera. The whole, the whole line are very very stunning looking products. This is for the hottest days of summertime. It's so effervescent, refreshing and uplifting. Uh, but I also like to wear it after a hot bath because it provides a really nice cooling effect. It's a casual day scent that would be perfect to take away on holiday to wear at the beach. Uh, and it'd also work well as a casual daily driver in the office. The opening is 100% unisex, but I'd say that the dry down leans ever so slightly feminine as the florals start to take over. This would suit anyone of any age and it's one of them timeless fragrances that I can see being around in 50 or 100 years. This is very loud in the opening and it could come across a little bit aggressive and a bit too overpowering if you were to go heavy on the sprayer. I personally have never tested a fragrance that retains its citrus freshness longer than this one. But like all fresh scents, uh, you won't get much more than maybe six or seven hours of longevity. The projection is very strong for the first hour on this one, but then it settles down a little bit to a more pleasing level. Uh, but it will still leave a scent trail for almost the life of the fragrance. You, can, you can't really ask for much more really uh, from a fragrance of this type. And it certainly keeps up with any other fresher uh, in the performance department within my collection at least. If you aren't a fan of the note of lemon then I'd give this one a wide berth because you're not going to get a great deal of anything else uh, from this one until the far dry down. 
Some people are going to find it way too sharp and aggressive, whilst others will absolutely love it, and I'm one of the latter. This is an absolute must for me in the summertime, but personally, I feel that uh, Chanel Allure Edition Blanche is a little bit more mass appealing uh, and easier to like if you're looking to pick up your first lemon base scent. This normally retails at around £130 for a 120ml bottle like this one, uh, but it sometimes pops up at discounters for under £100, which is not bad for a fr uh, fragrance from a niche house. So I would probably give this one uh, a heavy, heavy hitting uh, 9 out of 10 for a fresh fragrance. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm travelling back to 2006 to give my thoughts on a spicy classic British fragrance, so don't forget to tune in for that one to find out which one I'm talking about. Also, if you found this uh, video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear all your opinions on the fragrances that feature in the videos, so don't forget to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Also, um, it is my graduation coming up in two or three days time now, um, so if you've got any recommendations of what you think I should be wearing for my graduation, then I'd love to hear your, your recommendations for that. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. As always, uh, stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one.